let me get this straight. The Miami Dolphins just committed $10 million to a 34-year-old quarterback whose career has drifted between mediocrity and lousiness. It is a signing whose stupidity is matched only by its outrageousness. First, the stupidity in three parts. Part one, Jay Cutler has a really good throwing arm and a bad everything else. Part two, the Dolphins are going nowhere until division mate Tom Brady packs it in, and that's not happening over the course of Cutler's one-year deal. Part three, Matt Moore put up good numbers, got Miami to the playoffs, and is universally, it seems to me, liked. So bring in a feckless $10 million locker room nightmare instead? It's stupid, but it's also outrageous. There's another veteran quarterback on the open market, one with Super Bowl experience who is younger and healthier and widely lauded by coaches and teammates for the kind of guy he is. Yes, that guy, Colin Kaepernick, presumably untouchable because he tried to call attention to community relations between police and African-American people. So here, once again, we see a franchise who's willing to take on a lousy player with a lousy reputation and deal with that set of problems, but is unwilling to take a chance on, a, on the set of hypothetical problems a better player with a better reputation might cause. The NFL doesn't owe Colin Kaepernick anything. The Dolphins don't owe Colin Kaepernick anything. But signing Jay Cutler is an insult, and it suggests that the Dolphins' top priority is to look like they're doing something, even when that something has zero relationship to trying to win.